hi there i am i'm ready for my makeup uh, just before i meet the girls i'm gonna prepare myself with my interpretation of florentinian makeup so stay with me to see how that's gonna look like for the hydration of my skin i'm gonna use lancome jennifer cream activatrice de Jeunesse and jennifer u and these are the travel versions I will then continue with Giorgio Armani Luminous Skill Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, and I'm just gonna apply it very lightly on my skin and mainly underneath the eyes, and then just blend it in. Okay, and once ready with the foundation, uh, just set it with a powder. I'm gonna use Inglot again, and I'm gonna use this fluffy brush and just set very quickly. And now that I'm done with my foundation, uh, I am ready to start um, with the eyes. I'm gonna use Dior Palette Signature Matte which looks like this and I'm gonna start with this color right in the top which is the lightest one I would rather use a flat brush but obviously I did not take it maybe I'm gonna use which I never used uh, the applicator from the palette and I'm just going to start applying on the lid. Okay, so I want a lot of that. And I'm going to finish just... At the corner so I'm just gonna fill in this space I can see the girl started already texting and um, so I have to be quite quick so I'm just gonna slightly blend it with this brush so that it blends into my skin. I want to use Chanel um, Condor Experience 268 and use this shade right here and then I'm just gonna use it underneath my eye I'm gonna try to concentrate in the middle I don't really want to um, go up to the corner but just in the middle and then I'm gonna take that same color with a little bit of this to try to mix it and then I'm gonna go into the crease here. I'm gonna continue and do the socket internally, like here. And then, of course, try to blend it in. As you can see, we've got a quite nice background. When I entered the room, I realized there was this music going on. Nice jazzy music, nice jazzy music. So, blend it out. 
and also get the same color and then do a little bit of the corner smoke it out again I just want uh, my eye to pop out like to make my eyes look bigger so basically I'm trying to um, do like a highlighting uh, these parts uh, they need to stand out and the rest are just have to be highlighted so I'm gonna put lighter colors on this on here and then darker colors in the hollows to emphasize the natural look of the eye but of course try to blend it in so that they are not that different like there's not that much of a contrast between one and the other and what I'm gonna do next is take the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil Varushka Mink and um, I want to create a line on top And I'm just gonna go up to the corner and that's it I'm not gonna extend more okay so then I'm gonna use exactly the same pencil and then I'm gonna go inside Then I'm gonna take this uh, MAC duck color, which is like a brownish color, and just gonna pop like this very slightly. And then use this brush much and then I'm gonna take this matte color again which is NC15 and W20 studio chroma chromographic pencil which is this pencil and I'm gonna pop it into the water line with that same light color I'm gonna put here underneath um, the brows and then I'm gonna do only one more thing on the eyes which is not gonna be um, a mascara, but it's gonna be a highlighter. I don't want to use mascara, I just want to keep them uh, natural and neutral. And then to make them pop out, I will just 
put some glow in the middle very gently I'm gonna take from the same glow and put it on top just underneath the eyebrows and that's it the eyes are ready but in order for me to complete the eye look, I will use the Dior Show Brow Styler again to fill in some gaps here and there. I'm just gonna draw lines on top. I'm gonna try to make them a slightly thicker probably because uh, this is how they were supposed to look naturally thicker. But at the same time, I want to try to keep them natural. I also tried to make them a little bit roundish uh, because this is how they naturally grow. They don't grow with this um, angle. So, um, yeah, thicken them and then round them here. And then yes, that's it finally. My lips are super dry, but I'm still gonna use um, a pencil, which is uh, number two by 17, this new color and um, MAC Yash. Um, for the lower lip, I'm gonna start a millimeter away from the edge. I'm gonna extend here at this part so that my lip looks a little bit bigger. And then fill in. And add the lipstick. I won't forget to put my healthy glow. I'll try to put more in the hollow. Something that is key for this uh, look, that will be the blush. I'll use this one, which is Nude by Nature Cashmere Press, press Blush. Press Blush, yes. And then I'm gonna do my brush like this. And then apply a lot here. That's the final look. More open, wider eyes, um, and my Florentinian um, idea of makeup. And that's it. That's my final look. Um, I hope you like it, and I hope you enjoyed my tutorial from Florence a Hotel Orologium. Um, and I'll be back soon.